What's up guys and welcome back to our franchise zoo where we're continuing on by just finishing off our red panda habitat and then we're going to build some guest facilities and some staff facilities and kind of get our zoo a little bit more ship shape for the guests. Um, look at our little red panda in here, he's so cute. One thing I'm going to do is just adjust the, uh, the time we've got our zoo open because I saw in the comments that you guys were saying that 7.30 till 8.30 might be a little bit late so 7.30 till 7.30 normally gives a good amount of daylight and that's kind of what i'm going for oh my goodness he's climbing the tree oh my goodness wow that's so cool look at him oh okay well i guess he can do that we got we got keepers to clean that up um anyway let's uh let's start by uh, building his little uh hut or hard shelter i don't know what to call it oh it has gone night still ah and then daytime very quickly good Good advice for you guys, thank you. So I've seen that the female has passed her quarantine, so I'm going to move her in here as well. And then we'll have two little pandas in here. Now, I don't think we've unlocked any more electricity yet for the work we're gonna do later. I think that will still be on a mechanic research that he's chugging away on. Yeah, it does take a while to get power. Um, vet research I think is still doing llamas. We've got level one. One thing we didn't do was add in um, enrichment for our pandas. So I'm just going to filter by red panda and then we'll see what we see what we have because we probably already have some stuff. So if we have it, let's put it in, right? Yeah, we've got we've got some stuff here. So I think if we go for some herb, uh, herb scent markers Let's go for one just by this tree. And then it's really just climbing stuff. So I'm kind of going to do that as we um, as we build a shelter. It's also starting to snow now, which is pretty cool in our zoo. But it is also a little bit harder to see. And these guys are getting sick. Oh, we really need better keeper setups. But that is what the purpose of today is. So let's fix, fix all this. Okay. We'll do habitat. Uh, beds and shelters. I was thinking we could probably use massive aquatic shelter. Sure, why not? Um, we could just probably use some of these and make a, a form of structure out of them. So I know there's some nice ones like this I quite like, though it is quite large. If they have any smaller, might make something out of this. Um, but putting it in the trees somewhere. I was thinking we could have something up here. Oh, about to have another baby. We had something that came from this tree. I feel like this is a sturdy enough tree. And we could always move this one a little bit closer. Let's leave it there for now. And then what I'm going to do is just uh, duplicate this. I might actually control X this one and move it across and then X again and spin it all the way around. And we can have a little hut here. It doesn't look perfectly aligned. And we've got a little kind of, not perfect, but pretty cool actually, a little structure there. Um, I'm thinking if I move these across a bit more, it might the wood at the top might look a bit more natural. It's in, intended to be crossed over. Quite like that. And then I'm just going to move this tree across, um, so it's kind of involved. Maybe add another tree in as well. Uh, let's go biome, Asia, uh, constant Asia. And we'll get another tree in. Maybe one that they can climb. Um, got the same one here. Got one of these in here. Got lots of trees. I'd like to have lots of climbing for these guys. And then I'll probably also put some actual uh, climbing in. Um, some of these logs. Maybe some of the, the bigger ones these six meter ones just to support so we can continue out this uh little section we've got here just want them to be able to get into their their house from here we're lining these logs up is not going to be fun 
I might just add these posts in at the side as well quickly. And there I think we've got something. And then I might just add another little section down here. Um, another, is there a flat one? I was looking for, a, yeah, like one of these. And we can have one of these kind of at a medium height. Trees are kind of in the way, but I think that's quite good actually. It kind of obscures some of the, uh, the bits I don't want everyone to see. But move that in slightly as well. Then we've just got like a multi, multi-tiered little, in fact, I could actually adjust these very slightly so that one of these is a bit lower and the other one is a bit higher. That might look a little bit nicer. Got a bit of variation then. Yeah, I quite like that. It's a little bit of like a climbing frame. Yeah, cool. So that's that's everything there. Uh, hopefully this is enough for these guys as far as hard shelter. Yeah, they're happy. They've got not enough um, of this stuff now. So we obviously need a little bit more heat in this place. Um, I wonder whether our heaters, wherever I put them, I'm assuming they're around here. There. I don't know whether they're um, got enough. If, if I turn the heat up to 10, maybe, that might actually just kick out the snow a little bit more. Just trying to find them now. Do the same to all three. Because I think it's 10 in the very center and then, or, you know, in, in the radius. But I, I wonder whether at the edges, if it's warmer, it'll um, spread a bit further. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. If not, we'll have to add in another heater so that the, there's less snow on the ground. Because they're not massive fans of the snow. They don't mind the cold so much. But there he is, he's hiding every time. Just need to find him. If I can click on him, that would be good. There we go. Um, yeah, there's not enough. Maybe we have a little bit more long grass and soil, really. Uh, short grass and soil. Over here. Just not a massive fan of the long grass either, so we may be able to do this just by playing with these. But I think he has just got too much snow in, in this place. So let's add another heater uh, right in the middle, I'm going to say. And that can kind of do their, their habitat as well a little bit. That looks good. I'm gonna sink that into the ground. And then if I play, that should melt the snow very soon. And then he'll be... Oh, I was played. If I let that play, um, that should soon mel melt the snow. And then hopefully they'll be a little bit happier. So, moving on, I also realise that we don't have any education over here. So I'm gonna add some education boards in. I think we just had a new panda delivered. Yes! Look at her! Oh, no, that's still him. <laughs> he must have fallen off something. The other female is probably coming along soon, unless I have mistaken them. Which I could have done, because they do look very similar. She's still in quarantine. I thought I moved her over. Let's move her over. Ah, oh, the inspector's here as well. He's going to go look at... Uh, who? Oh, he's going to go look at the llamas. So, we've got reasonable ratings here. We've got reasonable ratings. Could be worse. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the education we've got here. Um, and just copy it across. So, control clicking to get rid of these bits I don't want. Um, that's everything. Now, I want the... Uh, It's not a good one because I think that's broken. I 
control click that and that. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And then I can add this in over here. Ooh. Control the camera properly. Um, I'm going to put it on this side. And just change this to be Llama. And same with the speaker. I think I have that on 10. And they might have another one inside. I'm going to have one here. Llama. There's probably no electricity in here, which is why there's no power. Um, and I'm going to put one on the outside as well. I'm just going to put these in and we can power them up later. I'm not super worried about it now because they I know they're going to be connected at some point. So as long as they're going for Llama, it's all set. It's all like hooked up correctly. That's fine. They've just not got power right now. So that should be good. In fact, I'm going to raise this to 12. I think they've got a bit more radius. Just get a little bit of education. OK, so this is looking good for now. I think we can probably start doing the uh, purpose of the... Oh my goodness, we're going to have baby llamas. One distraction after the other. Come on, baby llama. Right next to the herbs. Oh. She looks uncomfortable. That's a good sign. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Oh, look. So cute. Well, that was a weird little jump. <laughs> look how cute they are. I mean, they're still kind of ugly, but the babies are quite cute, I have to say. The little furry, little furry heads stepping out into the cold for the first time. Or staying with their mum. It's a really cool, like, area, actually, to be fair. Like, you get a really good view of the llamas. They're just right there with you. Ah, our inspector's left. What did he think? Oh, okay. He didn't like the education facilities. He did like the, the cleanliness. So I think the education facilities is majorly to do with the fact we don't have any walking tours because we haven't got any guest facilities. Um, and a lot of our habitat education boards aren't even powered because we haven't got power. So these are things we can fix. I'm not super worried about any of those. Um, I'm going to just suggest that. Yeah, I think we should start. I think we should start with the old, the old facilities. So I'm just going to create some... I'm going to move these around and I think I'm going to try and do all of the staff facilities in one building over here because I think that'll look quite uh, nice over here and then on this side I plan to have some guest facilities and in fact we do have some nice uh, blueprints for these like we've got these I really like this toilet um, which is a weird sentence but I think this is such a nice uh, such a nice like feature toilet for a zoo and actually I might have it here and move the uh just have the fence join onto it have a little bit of a queue area and then the fence can just join there I'm planning to use the blueprints somewhat for the uh for uh the guest facilities because I think I could even extend this along I'm going to edit them slightly but there's, there's just no point in in having I'll tell you what I could have a small toilet here Probably didn't need a huge one right at the entrance. Um, yeah, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna start making some I'm gonna start placing these in. Do we need a big toilet? I'll see how much room we've got when we put our shops in. So what I wanna do is have three shops here. I wanna have one shop, and in fact I might use these shells and have the big shops here, because I really love these Arctic pieces we have. Oh, I've just realized we have a we have a gift as well. Hey, we got 10% education. There we go, a little bit of money, a little bit of money. So let's put in our first shot over here. And this is going to be our information center. Now I'm going to add these to the old blueprint. So oh, they're going to come under facilities. Should be fine. I'm just going to have to... 
sync up their grids. Don't have to be on the same grid. I just want it to be very similar. In fact, I might place them and then delete some of this stuff. trying to make it doesn't have to be completely symmetrical i mean that's where the main door is so it can be there i think that actually looks all right with those in some lower ones i'm going to move edit this move these down and i'm actually reasonably happy with this building i think i want this one to be moved slightly in so i think it sticks out too much And maybe a little bit more. Not a massive fan of the of the tall the tall building, but I think it looks quite cute on the back, and it gives a bit of an interesting shape to this whole area. Plus, we can we can add the facilities in, and I think they'll look quite nice there. So the other thing I want to have in here is toilets, and we probably do you have room for large toilets. Yeah, I think we may do actually. Or maybe we should just have the small toilets and they'll be a bit easier. Yeah, let's have the small toilets because they're going to look a bit nicer to just have these guys. So I'm going to add in the small toilets here. Um, I think they should be somewhat in line. Let's say about here. And then we'll just edit this fence. Let's just carry it on. Oh, I'm going to have to... Control D this one, and that there. Oh, not quite there. Let's go there. Okay, that's looking quite good. Got the plants there. We may just have to add in a little area of fencing. Just in here. Just get one, one little fence. And then we've got a little cornered off there. And then I think we just need to do the same over here. Problem is when you start putting fences in, you realize how much you need to fence off. Uh, I'm gonna put this here. I don't want it there. I want smaller ones, I think. Let's grab these two. So we want it, like, about here. I'll grab one and see if I can patch that across. Very close. So let's just move these. Yeah, it's cold. You can hear people <laughs> exclaiming how cold it is. That is one of the things we're going to do today. And now we've got these nice little things in here. So let's add in. It's getting a bit dark still. But I think it's probably really early in the morning. So I'm sure it will get a lot lighter as we carry on. Let's add in some actual facilities. So we want guest facilities. I'm going to go with... Oh, look at these. We've got Bernie's Bakes, Chief Beef, Gulpy Soda, Information Center. So we want the Information Center right at the start. That's what I'm going to put in here. I'm going to add it to this. It's going to be there. Oh, just like that, it's daytime. So we have an information center. Now people can buy uh, information packs. They can buy like uh, sponsorship areas as well. Let's add it to the large shell. I'm going to go in here. What's oh, struggling to place in there? The gulpy soda. And chief beef. I want that there. What's it obstructed by? Ah, uh, it must be obstructed by the next. This building just here. I'll tell you what, I might exit from here and just place it in manually. Come on, is it gonna place? Most 
Let's go there. That looks pretty good to me. <laughs> so now we've got burgers. We've got we've got drinks. What are these smoothies or energy drinks? We've got energy drinks. People can get energized and go around the zoo. And we're selling souvenirs. This should massively help our uh, money as well. Oh, we've just done power. Very nice. We've got power now. So I'm not actually going to bother with solar because I don't think there's going to be a lot of solar power in the tundra. Uh, I might carry on with... We can either get more staff facilities, we could get a different theme, or we could get more shops. I think we're going to get another uh, drink shop. Let's just get some shops for now. And vet research is complete. Amazing. Let's put this guy on the pandas now, because these llamas have got, it's got some food enrichment, which is... I'm guessing it's probably the stuff we've already unlocked, but you know, it might be new, it might be new. Let's filter by Llama, not be an enrichment. Yeah, they've not got anything new, we've already put all these in, they just they just know that they can use the grazing ball feeders now, like, we're 100% we're certain now. <laughs> so that's all good. Cool. So I'm quite happy with these little guest facilities we've just added in over here. Or as you can see already, this main area is looking a lot more lively, which is which is nice. It's nice to have that in. In fact, do we have any nice little statues or anything? I love a good prop. Could put in something at the start. These are a bit Christmassy, and you know we are getting close to that point. But just wonder if we have any slightly more just animal focused ones. I'm not sure. Oh, we've got centerpieces here. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Do we have any of anything we've actually got? <laughs> Could put a reindeer statue in. As people walk in. Have two reindeer. Tell you what, we might... Reindeer are probably going to feature in this zoo, so we might try and put those in as we're actually near them. Um, same with the polar bears, really, though. Oh my goodness, look at these. You've got the nature scenes. That's huge. Look at it. This is so totally going in later. <laughs> uh, okay. Massive sculptures. I love it. Alright, well, we're going to leave it for now, I think. We can add more lights in and stuff later, but at the minute, we're only open during the day. Although, obviously, everyone will need lights at night, so that is something we'll have to think about at some point. But now, I'm not too... I'm not unhappy with this. I'm going to maybe put in some trees. I think our entrance could do with a few trees. I have one there, actually. And then some, some others. I do like the Taja plants, they're just a bit nice, Tundra's not really got a lot, so it is nice to have some some unique ones in there. Um, I think that's probably okay for now. Could add in some bushes under here as well. Um, let's go for these, where are they? My favourite ones, the twin flowers, let's go for some of these. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm, I'm wondering why uh, random rotation wasn't on there. Didn't look like it was anyway. Oh, it was on. So maybe it did rotate. I just didn't notice. Okay, right. So now we've done the guest facilities. I'm going to move on and I think we should do the staff facilities now. And you can see we've got a little guy walking through. Who's this? One of our keepers. Yeah, I think we are going to need more keepers. I think when we've got another habitat here... I will probably have the bison and this one uh, linked together and then have these two linked together because the keeper can just go between the keeper huts and we'll maybe have another keeper hut like here that can service these guys. I just think there's a long walk between them at the moment and uh, we could probably train them up to be fair as well. Yeah, let's train them up because they've got a really high workload but that is going to change in the future. And we need to make a new workload for our vendors we've just made. So let's add a new workload, work zone. Add all four, no, not that one. Add these in and the staff zone, and we'll call this vendors. I'm going to say entrance because I'm going to have a different work zone for each area of vendors. So let's then find our actual staff and we can assign these. Vendors entrance. I'm going to train all of these up the second I can, which is now. 
And then we've got them in there. We are probably, yeah, I imagine it is dirty because we don't have any bins or anything really. Any cleaners. I haven't got any of that. So that's my mistake. I should have probably bought a caretaker by now. So I'm going to drop one of these guys in. And then I'm going to make a new work zone that is everything. I'm just going to call this zoo. And this is what I'll assign the caretakers and the security guards to. So that... Um, they, they basically just cover the whole zoo. Oh, not that. Uh, zoo. So these guys are... Everyone's okay. We could do security at some point. I think we're fine for now. Let's add in some... Yeah, now, now people are eating and drinking stuff. They're throwing it everywhere. So before it gets too crazy, I'm going to put some arctic bins in here. Let's go one there and one here. In fact, I might have two bins there just to collect everything. have a bin there. Just want to place them at kind of strategic locations along along the map. And the more you place, the more likely people are to use them, so. Much like in real life. Just gonna put them on the back. I am gonna put some benches in, but I have a little bit of a plan. So I'm gonna do the staff facilities first and then I'll do the benches. Uh, we need some bins over here. Put one here. Put one over here. Put one in here and we definitely need one on the other side as well i'm not going to put any bins on the inside i don't think because i feel like that would be a bit weird to have bins that you know like people throw their food in the llamas would end up just eating them it, it wouldn't be the best um, i also want to try out these these barriers because it stops there's a new thing they've done where they stop um people from going in um from like walking through your buildings when you built stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and use this space to build a little staff area. Um, it might be easiest if I just start for this. Yeah, I'm going to start uh, with an entrance area. Let's get an arch. And once I place down a grid, um, that will be fine. Like we'll just use that grid going forward. So I actually have a little, I wanted to make a little walkway. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to just move. The, oh undo and move this and let's be on the lines i think that's a nice little walkway and this probably will look like absolutely nothing until i'm done but for now just stay with me i think i think i know what i'm doing um i'm gonna put entrance maybe here instead a little bit more central I, know, I like these arch entrances you can just do a square tunnel but i like using a arch tunnel as an entrance i just think it's nice and I also think we need to exit over here somewhere. Let's exit here. We should do it in a straight line. And let's also exit here. We've got some places to go. In fact, let's go there. Um, and now we can continue. Because I'm still in this group, we can stay in the grid. I'm just going to add some walls to what we're doing. So what I really want to do is exit. I want to move this, move the buildings into where they're going to go. So let's say, uh, let's get one with a nice set of uh, windows so the, the vet surgery can go here. And it means we're going to need windows on this side, if you understand what I mean. So let's put that there. We don't need windows here, but we need a window there and we need windows here now. So now I can just kind of uh, build around it. I'm actually, I didn't actually make this part of this group. Oh. That's okay. It's on the same grid, so it's fine, I think. Just want to come down here and find where the doors are. Because they've got these, these shop front ones, are the ones you can use for the windows. Yeah, they're not going to align properly. So what I'm going to want to do is move these two groups to be the same one. And normally, you can select group... Ah, they're already in a group. That could be why. So I'm going to split this one from group. And see if I can add to... Sometimes you can just add to group by hovering over it. There we go. It worked now. I don't know why. I just kind of fiddled with it and eventually it worked. So now we've got all of these as part of group 130. Which I'm just going to do to all of them as we go through. But let's fill this one in for now. So at the minute we can just put in a nice standard uh, wall panel. 
And I'm just going to put this to cover over here. Um, I'm going to build it out like that. In fact, I might have this one be here. Oh no. Let's undo that. Oh, it doesn't really matter. I just clicked on the wrong one. Let's split. Oh, okay. He's in the group. Select group. Move. See if we can add him to here. No, it's not going to work. Very strange. It does work eventually, but it's just being a bit picky about it. And I'm going to need to delete the path. So I'm just going to get rid of all of these paths because I don't think they're helpful now. We're going to change all of it anyway, so that's fine. Okay, let's get you back into this group. If I click exit, then I can add to group. That must be the trick. I have seems to have figured out somewhat the trick. No, I'm still talking about you. Right now I need to exit. It's a bit, it's a bit picky. Exit group four, and then we can add to group 130. I might put the staff room in. I kind of want that to be a bit more central. So I might move these actually. Let, let's put, I'll tell you what, let's, let's put the animal trade center over here. It's not going to need to be a massive area, but I am going to put them in um, relatively, relatively spread out. I don't want to just have like one, one building or anything, like on its own. Let's put the animal trade center. I'm going to exit, I'm going to add to group. I'm going to put that there. And then we've got, oh, there's no windows on that one. So we just need a window here. And then we can have a flat wall panel there. And then I'm probably going to come in at this point. And what I'd like to do is have a nice open courtyard area. And that's kind of what you'll see from here as well. So then I'm going to... Uh, one thing we've got to think about actually is negative impact on guests too. Because these are maybe a little bit close. This one might be a little bit close to the path. So I'm just going to move this all in actually. One section like that so that we can keep this kind of clear if we need to paths are always going to be tricky to connect there we go we'll go something like that Big quarantine areas and stuff like that we need to kind of keep separate so I'm gonna have one big one down here and this is also where I'm gonna put uh, the keeper there because it needs to be fairly central as does the staff building and just see the negative impact I think that's okay it's just the water pump so this way we've kind of kept all of that negative area away from all our guests and we've got these like spread out buildings which I don't know whether this looks completely terrible to you guys right now but I have a little in my head I know what it's gonna look like so it's gonna be fine don't worry right I'm gonna build in this uh corridor now that we've got it I'm gonna move this one across and then we've got this here and then we'll have a window two windows we extend across here I have to move these trees out of the way because I can't see what I'm doing at all. I'm going to play as well so we actually get things moving along. High amounts of litter and tickets are underpriced. That's another thing we should definitely do is put our price up because we've got way better stuff now. I'm going to go 7 and 5 and see what people think of that. It's probably still underdoing it but um, we can go and guess and see what they think. Okay, they're hungry, they're thirsty, they need more shops, and the zoo's pretty small. It's probably cold as well, but that will be sorted out soon. Oh, that needs the mechanic's attention. Could also be why some stuff has been getting uh, unhygienic. Let's build this along.
that's that's what I was going for. So we have we have a path in here, which isn't isn't my favorite. I was hoping for more of an area. Um, in fact, I am tempted to move all these across. I just know that these guys are going to be using the staff area, and I don't want that to be too far away. Um, so what I'll probably do is maybe do something else over here. Have a little feature somewhere. Could be a water feature or something. Um, I think for now we'll just delete this piece. Spectres arrived again. Damage barriers. Oh goodness, that really needs the mechanic. It's because our mechanic's just been doing research, hasn't actually been fixing the barriers, and these guys are kicking the hell out of them, it seems. Look at that, jeez. <laughs> That's a bit much. But he's here now, he's here. So he'll do all that stuff for us. Um, let's continue building. That research is complete. That's good. And the panda's about to mate. Yeah. Look at you guys. So cute. Maybe we missed it. <laughs> oh, look, they're being fed. How cute is that? There you go, that's where their bamboo comes from. <laughs> they do have bamboo. Oh, Just having a little snack. Very cute. Okay, I assume they're happier. I mean, they're going to be happy now because there's absolutely no snow whatsoever, yeah? So, let's carry on with the star facility. I, I swear I'm never building this building. I just keep building it in tiny little stages. go we have a sort of blueprint for the building now if that can be made out by anyone right now we can now we can do the bits that actually look like stuff <laughs> so let's go for the uh, the roofs so what I'm gonna do is just have a two meter maybe just one meter if we have that we have one meter pitched we do and then we can have a little arch here and we can get these little pieces in as well oh we've had a llama baby again another llama baby in the house now we can get another roof on here I want to keep it fairly uniform this could be a bigger roof actually maybe that's too high though it is the entrance so let's go with it I want to do the same but very slightly lower here and now we can just add in some pieces and it should look a lot better now it's a bit like a puzzle game where you're just like slotting the pieces in. Got that there, we can have a little archway over the door. I just, I love it when it starts to come together. It just looks so nice when everything starts to build in properly. Uh, we're almost done. Uh, I'm not going to have too much of this with like a really open roof. And in fact, we could leave some of the sides open. So it's not all one built, like one complex. Um, I just kind of like the idea that it's all hidden away. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe it'd be nice to open some of it up. We take out this wall. Just right-clicking to delete. Delete these here as well. Just got these, like, buildings joined with. Yeah, I quite like that. Oh, we do need to extend this roof, though, a bit to conclude this. Yeah, that's better. Let's go for that. Really start to notice when, like, one panel is out of line. Uh, okay, and then this one. This is our last one. So let's just add in a, another roof here. I'm going to keep a similar theme. I'm going to go two meter pitch here. I'm going to move those walls in as well so they fit nicer. There we go. We have a little area. If we put some lights in, I think they'll look really nice. I'm going to do a line surface so they snap correctly. Just going to kind of light it up a bit whenever we've got entrances. I'm going to add some decoration to the outside as well. Just want to make sure that this episode doesn't run over too massively because we've got quite a lot to, that we've done today already. Cool. 
think that's quite nice. And they'll all light up. There we go. Look at that. Now we can move some of the uh, the trees back in as well. It's nice to have a little little area there. I was going to do a bit more. I might do a little bit of landscaping in here, but I don't want to go too crazy. It is quite nice to have the plant pots around, though, actually. And then when we can put some actual bushes in as well. It's nice to get some to get some uh, like bushes and, and all that stuff in here. Like we've got some that we've done ourselves, some that's just kind of sprouted up. Just makes the whole place just looks a lot nicer when you got some nature everywhere. Just put a couple in here, and I didn't think we we're going to do too much more honestly after that. I think that's quite nice. It's quite a nice little area. Um, I am going to add some decoration to the actual buildings because I think they'll look a lot nicer with it. Could get some nice stuff going with these trees. Make a small pattern out of them. Might echo that across some of the build. We've got a few of these in a few areas. Just adds a little bit of interest to our um, to our building. Breaks it up a little bit. I'm going to do some of these on here, because I think these always look nice. Can we make a nice little pattern with them? That's the main question. <laughs> I'm just going to copy all of these across the other side. And we can see how out of line this is. That's good. <laughs> I quite like that. It's a little bit like a tree as well. So come in here, this is still quite nice. They've got you've got your vet surgery over here, and you can see out. And now they can actually have like a nice view of everything. Got a nice view of our zoo. They come through. We have a little area over here. You can still oh here we go. They've not got a good view. This is what I wanted to avoid. So edit here. This is why we do it. This is why we check. Put a nice little uh, wall piece in, little window. And then I'll just patch it up with this. Like that. In fact, that could probably be an arch. Like that. And then when they look out, they can actually see some nice trees. And then quarantine is like a weird void that we're not going to go into. <laughs> oh, look, look at our little staff room. And it's cute. They can actually, they've got some trees, nice little area. I'm going to get some more trees in there to make it look a little bit nicer. Go there. We get a festive a giant cedar. No, I don't think we'll go with that. <laughs> That's fine. Nice. So I am going to make this nice, and that will mean our staff area looks over the um, a nice little landscape area we're going to do. But I'm not going to do that quite now because I feel like I've been doing a lot of building in this area, and there is actually one thing I wanted to do before we go. So I'm going to very quickly expand our American bison habitat. You're going to expand it? Why are you expanding it? That's a good question. So, I plan to add in another set of animals into this habitat. So let's let's do this. Expanding this area a little bit more, which means we can also bring our path up. Just going to look nicer. Oh, let's sort that out though. We can just take a, some of these rocks and put them along here. Go around here. Cool. Now we can get rid of this. We can copy some of these trees over here as well. And I think this kind of looks alright. I'm uh, relatively happy with how this has turned out. And then we can put our animals in. Woohoo! And now they're probably not going to be happy with their habitat. Oh no, they are. They're very relaxed, aren't they? But what we can do now is we can get some other animals. And I'm going to go for the... Um, where's the filter?
don't know why I can't search now. <laughs> oh, armor count research is complete as well. Okay, we're probably just going to take him off everything. Can you just, like, check up on the zoo <laughs> for a second? <laughs> Red pandas. Level 2 as well. Woohoo! So we can get these guys going on the newest ones. Let's put in this stuff for the red pandas because we finally got some enrichment for them. Gonna filter by red panda. Oh my goodness, we've got loads. Let's put in all of these. So we've got a dog ball. Oh, maybe we don't need all the balls. Oh, we'll put in all the balls. Why not? We're only 100 pounds. Hundred dollars, hundred zoo pound things. <laughs> and then we've got an ice ball, which I think is food enrichment. So I might actually put this over here as well. Like on the edge here. So it might just roll off into the No? Well we'll see what happens. If it rolls off into the water, we'll just have to replace it. Um now they've got some toys and stuff, they should be very happy. Yeah, look at them! The nutrition could be better, but that's because we haven't actually put the food up for any of these guys, which is something we should do. Um, so, I could, I'm trying to think. I think you can do it in this area as well. Perhaps you can't. Um, if you go to our, if we go to our zoo, I'm gonna say don't research them anymore. Let's find our animals. And go food. We can put all the quality up to a higher quality because it's not a lot but it's like it, it makes a difference for the actual animals themselves and it's not a lot of extra money so that's what we're going to do these guys we need to be careful of how old they are i think this is the oldest it's still juvenile when they become adults it's going to be a problem what we can do now though is we can get some some prong horn antelope that's what i was going to go for so prong need to reset the filter that was what was wrong prong horn antelopes Wow, that's a good one. Um, but we cannot afford them. Uh, that's a reasonable female. What? Let's see what group size they need to live in. Because they can live with the American bison in one group. So socially, they're, they're only not a room. Um, and they live in... 1 to 11. Oh, okay. We can do that. That's not too bad. It's basically very similar to the um, American bison. Let's buy her. Let's buy... Oh... Some albino ones, maybe. Could get this one. She's alright. This one. I just don't want this male because he's got absolutely no fertility whatsoever. So he's not ideal for breeding. She is probably too pricey. We don't need one that good. Um, he's okay though. Let's get this guy. Can we get one more female? Yeah, four females and, and one male. That seems good to me. Or was it five? No, four females and one male. Yeah. Send to zoo. And now we can send to our brand new quarantine. Like they get to try it out for the first time. What, how lucky are they? And they've got a nice bigger area now as well. So just need to continue this fencing along here. We made it. We made it. I'll just have to slope down after that, which is fine. All these guys are passing their quarantine, so it's just one left. Let's move you across. And then we can call this um, American Bison and Pronghorn Antelope. That just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? American bison and pronghorn antelope. That's that's the enclosure you're going to. Right, let's put them in there. Scenery rating is only 45. My goodness. Well, we could do better than that. I think we should maybe train up our staff if we've got our caretaker probably needs training up. Yeah. Our mechanic could do with it as well. And obviously, everyone else, really. Vendors are probably put to the max. Yeah, they're just 
probably making so much money for us right now. Finances, let's have a look. Yeah, they're making quite a lot of money. So they make about 1,000. Oh, wow, okay. We could definitely do with some more food. So what I'm planning is maybe to do some more further into the zoo going forward. Um, they've got a little bit at the start. It's because everyone is just using these right now. So that, that demand will be will go down as it as it filters through other habitats as well. Oh my goodness, look! Oh, and we've got a new profit. Look, they're all here. Wow, look how cute they are. Oh my goodness, so adorable. And I think these guys provide enrichment for each other as well um, because they like the interspecies enrichment, so. Everyone should be happy. I just need to check that their requirements are being met. Yeah, they're super happy with everything. They've still got loads of room. These guys got loads of room. It's a win-win for everyone. Okay, guys, that's been great. Uh, we've done loads this episode. Um, so we, we built a shelter for our red pandas. We built guest area, built a staff area. Um, we've even added in a whole new species. So I think that's probably enough for today. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe. It does help the channel out and I'll see you in the next one.